Hello, so I uh, take it that you're here from my uh, cults listing um, on Cults 3D uh, for the lithophane stand um, for the LED Berg from IKEA. Um, as part of the listing you'll get access to currently these three files. Um, I might possibly remove this one at some point but um, the only difference between this one and this one is the logo. Um, I originally wanted to keep the logo on and hence why I uploaded it first. Um, it's sort of to say look this is mine but um, it, the printing um, can be a lot faster when you don't have it and I'd rather you have uh, a more easier to print product, a more easy to print model um, than me worry about uh, trying to keep my logo on it. So we'll put this one aside for the moment. Um, but mainly you'll need these two files and you'll need to buy the LED Berg from IKEA so this comes with a power plug which is inside already and along with the LED and that's just what comes with the LED itself and the cable uh, which has a nice little one off switch so, and looking at the power plug itself, there is sort of little connectors there where you can remove this so it looks like there'll be different versions of it uh, for different countries, which should be a bonus for everyone else. Um, the LED comes uh, with its own little sort of holder which you can um, screw into um, a sort of a bookcase is what it's designed for, or showcase. Um, so all we need to do is sort of turn that and then keep pulling to get to the point where it comes free there is just sort of two holes there where the actual clips and cells sort of go into and stay in there it also comes with this LED diffuser while I think it looks really nice and it, you know it'd look better with it on the inside has sort of this horrible well horrible sorry um, the sort of middle bit where it focuses the actual beam itself onto one particular point and you need it so it, it diffuses um, a larger area. So we'll take that off and then hang that side. What we'll do is we'll move this to the side and um, we'll look at that wiring this up. So to do this um, all you need to do is get your cable and place it through here. Now I will say the print itself needs no supports whatsoever so don't need to worry about printing supports for this middle section it will support itself um, I've printed this, or this off in different variation of settings and the most recently it's printing off at 65 millimeters a second um, and it's printing fine and no issues um, but before I think I went down to 45 for this version here um, but say no issues whatsoever. So feed the cable through and plug it into the LED. Now this point here uh, is sort of optional of what you want to do. So here you want to, uh, depending on what you want to do, you can either take these little clips off here and it makes it easy to get in and out. Um, what I have been doing for the ones I'm selling is that I'm keeping these in there for the moment and I will adjust the design so it's um, it will accommodate these a little bit better um, but it's something that I, I didn't need to do um, I originally took these off but it still works with them on um, I've been putting a dab of hot glue around here and here um, this is for the ones that I'm selling um, the only reason for that being is that when you push this in here and you know, if you have it on a side and it gets knocked off the side, gets caught, then the cable itself will easily pull out. And if you're selling to someone, it's it's easier just to to have try and mitigate that issue, um, which is your own choice really. Um, but uh, for the moment, uh, for this one, I'm just going to show you as it is. And all you do is so sort of push it in. And just give it a good push down and you'll either get a click or some noise but you'll uh, see on there there's a slight little gap and 
which I'm going to sort of adjust in the next design but other than that it still looks perfectly fine and um, something that I do like. Uh, if we get the stand then we'll get the old one with the logo for the moment and this there just wants to plug into there and then just direct the cable into the gap and then just push in. Easy as that. And then you have your holder. And I'll just show you what that looks like now. Like that. Um, I am going to have a look at the actual design as well. Um, while it has this little outer radius bit of the light here, um, it is nice. It does sort of gives a bit more light into the room. Um, I'm going to bring this in ever so slightly and do a few tests with it. And, you'll have different versions to choose from. Um, with the lithophones, uh, as I said before, um, possibly, the stand itself is 200mm uh, wide um, fitment for lithophones, so the print itself needs to be 200mm wide with a 45 degree angle, which is from its litho, which is in the posting, uh, sorry, in the listing, you'll see the uh, screenshot of the settings that I have been using. Um, when you do the print, you'll have the, the brim that will stay on the actual uh, lithophane itself. If you don't use a brim, then uh, great, um, but this is sort of a 22 hour print um, on the settings I've been using, and I'd rather not waste uh, a few hours for it to, to lift up in the corners like it has sadly done on the original. on the stand without the logo so we'll one issue that I try to combat um, to clean the brim um, do as you wish um, you can use a metal file um, works great or again use your clippers that you get with your printer um, but I have this metal ruler and it's just a standard off the shelf metal ruler and you can just sort of get the edge of the metal ruler and just sort of go along the edges like that and then you can clean off the brim so peel off the brim, brim yourself or just use that and just keep scraping and then keep doing some test fits at different points so this section fits nicely this section doesn't And then at different points, just keep checking um, that it fits, but this still needs a little bit more work and rather than bore you up to that side. So the print itself um, comes with two parts, is all you need to print. And with these two parts, um, I'm going to sort of tweak as we go along, but I'll make two different versions, uh, sorry, a few different versions of this. So at the moment there's two in mind, which is a 150mm. 150mm wide version with the same 45 degrees and a 100mm version um, oh, and I will be doing a sort of a, a straight um, a straight version as well uh, for people that just don't want to faff on with the, the curves or they might not like it because you know some people just don't like having the curves um, which is their choice um, I'll also look about changing the supports here where these will sort of possibly just come down and sweep in and get rid of the middle part as well. Um, this holder um, insert bit here, this will be brought in as well and a few other versions just to um, make it so when you do have the print um, it will not give off light from the side um, and it will just be straight to the print as well um, and it will well it, that actual there itself you see that fits the actual picture quite nicely bring it out it does diffuse more but yeah, so it just depends on what you would like there will be different versions for that so feel free to choose what you want 
Um, if you're in the UK, um, you can buy some little rubber silicon adhesive uh, little dots and these I've just stuck to the bottom of the print. This just means that it's less likely to sort of move when it's uh, on its flat surface. Um, I paid about £1.50 for these and you'll be able to, you can buy them off eBay for cheap. Um, there are black versions, there's clear versions of what I have here and all different random ones so it's depending on what kind of print that you've got you can choose really. Uh, if you have any questions, any feedback or anything like that then please feel free to drop me a message on here or through Colts 3D and uh, uh, any sort of issues with the actual print, uh, with the model itself then please do feel free to come back. Uh, this model itself I've spent a fair few hours doing just trying to perfect which I will carry on doing um, and it will be included in the price there will be no new listing or anything and all the versions that are for different sizes and so on will be included in the same listing um, and I'll try and keep that up to date as possible um, the, this model itself I've struggled to find anywhere else um, hence why I ended up making this originally um, I've been able to find this on Thingiverse or Cults or any other website where it has this particular design and I've not seen anyone using the LED Berg um, from Ikea and this um, is hopefully going to be a sort of an eye opener for uh, other projects that you can use and there is a few that I'm going to be using the actual LED for so if you uh, sort of subscribe to my Cults 3D account and hopefully keep you up to date on any of the models that I do upload and I'll be uploading a free a, f a few more free models as time goes on um, but we'll see as we as we go into the new year uh, thanks for watching